Now look what I came up with. In the junk bin, I had these total super bars, which are for a small mount. You can tell from the way the oil hole is. But they have a wider tail. I don't know if that was by design or just pure luck. But they also have a relatively um, rugged tip with the six rivets and 325 50 gauge so I found a 9 pin 325 sprocket and notice how the chain goes on to the bar I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that tossing a chain but I'm going to have that extra diameter so here's the thing you got to think about with gearing right it's not a number of teeth although obviously the number of teeth is how they're purchased right you, only, you can't have a half a tooth on a sprocket, so it's going to be, you know, seven, eight, or nine. But what you got to think about is when that crankshaft goes one revolution, the distance that the chain moves is determined by the diameter of that sprocket. So, for example, let's say arbitrarily that's four inches. So one revolution of a crankshaft, that tooth is moving forward four inches because it is going to move forward by the diameter of that uh, by that rim, where this one might be three inches, right? Using arbitrary numbers, that's why the bigger sprocket gives you a higher chain speed because the distance traveled by a tooth is going to be determined by the diameter of the sprocket. Of course, the bigger the sprocket, the longer um, the travel is per revolution, and that's why you do that. So I've got a nine pin which is roughly like an 8-pin 3-8s. There's a 7-pin 3-8s. Now that, on the other hand, gears it down. That gives a mechanical advantage to the saw using a smaller sprocket, right? Where the larger you go on the diameter, you're giving more and more mechanical advantage to the chain. Even though you have speed, you got to think about it like this. There's a, a lever from the center of that crank to the outside of that sprocket. And if that lever is longer, that means the chain has more leverage on the saw to hold it back. If that, that distance is shorter, that means the chain has less of a lever to crank on that crankshaft and hold it back. And conversely, the longer that is, the less mechanical advantage the saw has on the chain, and vice versa. I hope that makes sense. It's really simple. It's not rocket science. But uh, this ought to make a fairly significant difference in how this little John thread performs. Now, I want you to look at that right there. See that? What do you think that is? I don't think I'm the first person who ran that saw that had a chain come off.